go in. What's going on guys? Welcome to week 38 of my journey to scratch. Guys, so I left you in a, on a bit of a cliffhanger last week. If you watched the video, you saw that I got fit for new irons. I went through the whole shaft fitting process, which was absolutely amazing. And then I tried out a bunch of different heads that I really, really liked. I ended up with two that I absolutely loved and I could have ended up with, but there was one more head that wasn't available at the time of the fitting that Mike really wanted me to check out because he felt like it was a really good comparison to the other two heads that I was looking at. So he asked me to come back the next day and try out the three heads and make my final decision. So that's really the video that you guys are gonna be watching today is of course me kind of getting a baseline with my current clubs and then hitting the Titleist T100Ss, which I absolutely love. Then hitting the irons that are gonna replace the T100Ss, the T150s, and then finally hitting the Mizuno 223s that I really, really liked as well. So if you don't watch the whole video, totally fine, but just make sure you watch a transition from my old irons, the Ping i500s, to the Titleist T100Ss. And that gives you an idea just how important the shaft really is because like I felt like I could not control my old irons at all. And then I go to hitting pretty much all three heads, all three new heads with a new shaft pretty decently well with a pretty consistent miss. So make sure you stay, stick around for that. Without further ado, I really don't have anything else. If you enjoy the video, please make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, welcome to the channel and introduce yourself down below. But yeah, and as always, I'll catch you guys at the back end of the video. I kind of want to give a bit of a handicap update, giveaway update, and then you can see the irons uh, in true life. I have them in my apartment and I'm excited to show them to you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys soon. Still trending low and left with those i 500s. That was pretty good. Like they look hard for you to swing. <laughs> they feel very hard for me to swing. Yeah. Compared to everything that we were swinging yesterday, especially after finding that shaft. Yeah. All right, I'm done hitting this club. <laughs> let's, have, let's have some All right, fun. let's start with the T100S. That was <laughs> our favorite from yesterday. Perfect. I'll probably go 100S 150, right? Back cool. to back. I like it. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even see you hit it that good yesterday. <laughs> dude, I've been thinking about these things for 24 hours. Oh, uh, man, I mean, confirmation, the first one out of the gate comes right back up. Bro. That's so much a little, better. A little flippy, but I mean, fine. Like your low pull is now getting the air. Yeah. Like it's a absolutely. low that's a low pull, but it's much higher and has more backspin. Yeah. Good. Still good efficiency. Hey Merritt, we can make that longer. Awesome. Yeah, much better there. That was nice. And that hits and stops. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. I'm just curious. I mean, okay. Do we have a fair assessment of that from your side? Yeah, we're, we're, from I my think, side, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it's still good. Club speed has been going up. I must feel a little more rested You're today. You're juiced. I, guess. I don't know. You're juiced up. <laughs> this will be very interesting for me to go back to back from old to new to kind of say what's the major difference of the 150 versus 100S. Cool. Performance wise, certainly. I'm interested to get your feedback too to say what's the feel difference off the face because cool. there is a little bit of a dif difference in feel off the face. Cool. Oh, those felt nice. I mean, dang. Holy hell. What just happened? <laughs> a little pull. A little pull. Wow, 114. Why'd it go up so much? I'll look at that in a minute. Go in. <gasps> Holy. Oh. Ooh. That was a nice shot. Yeah, a little thinny, a little toey, but still forgiving. Really good. Freaking nice. Whoa. Well, you are hitting these farther. Like I got to see why you're hitting it farther. <laughs> you just yeah. keep swinging. I mean, club speed's going up. Yeah, a little bit. Wow, really good. Whoa. 
whoa. I'm glad we waited. Because now it's like, are these actually better? <laughs> Good to see that miss. Still cover 160. Uh, one more, kind of like numbers. We'll stood up on that one a little bit. Didn't kill you. Yeah. And to the left. Well, let's delve into the numbers here. Any feel difference off the face for you? Very similar, honestly. Yeah, okay. Super, super similar. Gotta say, why is this going farther? So let's look here and say, does something happen different? Uh, it certainly does spin a little bit less. So like the ball speed is essentially the same. Within a session, if it's in within half a mile an hour, it's the same, right? Cool. So uh, it did launch lower, it spun less. So we have to come over to this side of the club data and say, did you swing it different? Yeah, your loft delivery at impact was a little lower. So that, you know, 0.7 degrees less loft, almost a degree less loft, that's gonna equate to about a mile an hour of ball speed okay. and your spin rate would change, right? Um, yeah, you know, it's six in one hand, half dozen the other, I think. I really, they kind of do the same thing, right? It's, you had a couple more pulls with it and they're just kind of the same numbers. Like, you hit yeah. it more middle? You didn't hit it as toey for whatever reason. Yeah, swung the same club head speed, the efficiency is kind of the same. Uh, half a mile an hour, same peak heights, similar laning angle, it's two yards. I don't know, not a lot of difference numbers wise. It does spin a little bit less, but that I, I'm probably equating that to your loft delivery was one degree lower in impact. Cool. I think that I, from what I've seen in testing, they're essentially the same numbers. It's just friendlier on misses. That's all I've kind of seen in, in terms of what I've uh, read on it because you know nobody really has these yet but in terms of what Tyvus is saying in testing is it is going to launch a little higher and spin a little bit less than last year's model okay. but it didn't really launch higher it didn't it did spin less but not to a detriment visual appeal 100s or 150 exactly like i they're very similar yeah like okay yeah no like the only difference is it's a little bit thicker on top. Gotcha. And it's a little bit bigger in the bottom. That's the difference cool. in I terms know, of the I design. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's hard to distinguish. Like the heel toe blade length really didn't change. Like cool. from heel to toe, they're pretty much identical. They just, they made it look a little friendlier and they, they made it friendlier, right? A little chunky, but it didn't hurt you. Yeah, it felt a little chunky. Yeah, flew just as far. Wow. That one was smashed. Oh. That one was really nice. Stopped. Well, you're hitting it better. You're hitting it better today than you did yesterday. A little thin. Just a little bit more there, maybe. Wow. Oh, that was not thin. Stayed down on that one nicely. Yeah? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you, stayed, nice. you, stayed, you stayed down on it. Wow. A little open. Let's see what the numbers say. S -s 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 higher launch, higher spin. And that's what we saw yesterday. Yeah. It came out in a little higher window, it had more spin, had more stopping power, right? That was the, kind of the same story as yesterday. <clears throat> you hit this out in the middle for a reason. Your loft delivery impact <clears throat> is much higher though. So that, that's why it's launching higher. It's not launching higher because of the loft. Okay. It's the same loft, but for whatever reason, your loft delivery with the 223 is higher. Okay. So I, I'm probably equating that to the swing weight balance of the club more than anything else. Right? Does it feel different when you swing that versus the Titleist? Um, not really, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I think it, they're very, they feel very similar. They both feel really, really <clears throat> good. Yeah, so it's only two yards. It's really, it comes down to two yards. But it comes down to straight, too. Yeah, which one is? You hit that club straighter. There's more curve in the 100S. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Okay. Really, yesterday's numbers real quick. Same thing, same story as yesterday, uh, loft delivery wise. You know, you're 24 seven with the T100S today and you're 25 four yesterday. You were 27 degrees yesterday with 223 and you're 27 degrees today. Gotcha. So yeah, you deliver for whatever reason, more loft to that 223 iron. And that's why the launches higher and spins more. Gotcha. And I think on average, the Mizuno is gonna spin more even if the loft delivery is the same as the T100S. So the 223 gives you more stopping power. The caveat of that is you might be bothered by wind a little bit more the, with the 223 okay. than the T100S. Okay. I think that's where you need to probably make your decision between the two. Okay. If it comes down to feel, go with feel. If it comes down to, I don't want to be bothered by wind as much, come go to that. Or I want to be able to shape shots. That would say the 223 is going to be easier to move around a little bit if you wanted to. Okay. Um, um, so that's really what we're down to is cool. forgiveness level. I think either one, fine. Cool. It's not like you get punished more with the 100S, even though it's a smaller profile. The spin rates are lower, and you're squeezing a couple more yards out of it on average, right? That's what I see. Okay. Where does your heart tell you? Guys, so sorry to be interrupting the video, but I just wanted to remind you guys that there's still some time left to enter the giveaway for the Rogue ST head that I'm giving out with Zach. There's only about 200 people that have entered the giveaway, so there's a really, really good chance that you get it. If you want to enter, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and head on over to my Instagram to see the rules. All right, now back to the video. Where does your heart tell you? 100S? Yeah. Yeah. It's 100S then. Yeah. I'm glad you got to hit the 150. It's good for me to see the 152 is, is it's kind of the same numbers. Like, I don't know. These companies are, they yeah, gotta, they have to they gotta, they gotta something. do something, right? Yeah. Um, so, but they, they made it friendlier and they made it a separate component. Like the 100, 100S, they're identical in terms of what they are, except there's just more tungsten in the 100S and it's two degrees stronger. That's the only difference. But this one, the 150 is certainly a separate look uh, from the 100, so they're two different. So it's that 150 is going to be geared towards a guy that wants to be able to play a player's iron, but does not have any business playing a player's iron, and wants the forgiveness level. So I go 100 S's, bro. I like it, man. I I think yeah, I don't they know, feel man. the best. That matters. They, they felt they feel great. They look great. I couldn't stop thinking about them. And, <laughs> yeah, man. and you know what? Like I think that's worth something. You know, it, it's worth every like. I, I think you can play good golf with either one. So from my side of it, I don't have an opinion. Sweet. Right? I definitely wanted to see what the 150 did against the 223 just because it's more in line with size and forgiveness level, but it's not like you're getting killed when you miss hit shots with the 100S. Cool. So. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's hit some more. Fuck yeah. Just kind of triple confirm, right? Love it. Uh, what's our average carry? 162? Let's see if you can make a shot. Oh. Yeah, when you hold the face, it's good. So you got a little shot with it before. And it's, I mean, it's still carry 157. Beauty. Now you're holding the face better than the first go around. I mean, on the line? <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it. <laughs> a foot. <laughs> yeah, it's good, dude. Like, I like yeah. it. Dude, I love it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I love it. I love it. One last one. Swing as much as you want, man. Oh, good. Bro, holding the face so much better now. The f I think you weren't kind of in your timing yet, and you're getting a little shot with it. Dude. And now you're in your timing. You're in it dead straight. It's beautiful, dude. And now it's launching plenty high. Let's go. Let's go, man. That's like quadruple confirming now. So when you get a little shut, you're getting a little delofted with it. It's good that you can do that. You can kind of lean it. Yeah. In, but your your issue that you and Zach have been working on is is the golf club did not allow you to hit the ball in the air. 
It just didn't. Cool. That's and that's you know when you a teacher is trying to fix a problem with technique stuff and is more equipment related. That's why Zach sends people down here. It's like if he's struggling to get the ball up in the air for you, is it because you're doing bad things? No, you're doing fine things, yeah. right? Because your loft delivery is just um, really not that much lower with the I-500. It's two degrees stronger than it needs to be when the club starts because it's 30 degree seven iron. But also like that iron just doesn't spin. Yeah. And spin is control. Spin is consistency. When there's no spin on the golf ball in an iron, that's not a good thing. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Let's go, man. 100 peak height, 47 laning angle. Open up the textbook of a seven iron, what you want to see, and that's it. Let's go, man. 100 S's. I love it. Guys, so there you have it. We ended up going with the Titleist T100 S's. These guys are so wonderful. I feel so much more comfortable whenever I hit these guys on the sweet spot. It's like it feels so amazing and i'm so so happy and i and i know that they're gonna play a vital role in me getting better at this game guys i gotta say that fitting was so much fun for me i enjoyed it so so much if you're on the fence of getting fit for clubs i strongly recommend you do if you're in the dfw area i've pretty much done the research for you go check out mike at sellingers he was so good to work with and as you can tell i mean what fitter would have me come back for another hour and hit balls for however long it took for me to feel comfortable with my purchase. Like, it was absolutely amazing. Huge shout out to you, Mike. Thank you so much. Go see him if you're in the DFW area. He is the absolute man. For a handicap update, I'm a nine, like a 9.0 right now. Quite honestly, my approach game is, continues to be the worst part of my game. I continue to struggle hitting greens and regulation. I am getting up and down from pretty much everywhere right now. My game, as a whole has never felt better, but my approach game is so bad that it's hindering me from really shooting low scores and dropping my handicap. Just to kind of give you an idea, there was one round where I shot an 80 and I only hit three greens in regulation. So I was pretty much getting up and down from everywhere. Today, I shot an 81 and hit five greens in regulation. I do have a lesson with Zach tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. If you're new to the channel and you haven't checked out those videos, I strongly recommend you do. They're the best videos on my channel. They've helped out a ton of my subscribers already and the transformation from when I started in February to where I'm at now is just kind of absurd how cool it is and, and how much I've progressed in the last five months in terms of my swing. So yeah, make sure you check out those videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like if you did. I hope you're playing good golf, shooting low scores. I love you guys and I'll catch you next week. Take care.